what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we are looking at caspa because caspa has been doing absolutely amazing but looks like some profit taking could happen yeah i know i started off pretty bearish on this however this is the weekly time frame you can see this beautiful channel we have been regarding as support and resistance for a very long time ever we we started this entire trend back on November 13th back in 2023 and now we are sitting here June just about July anyways you can see if we maintain this price action for another day in one hour we could have the highest weekly candle Caspa has ever seen which is absolutely great it's absolutely awesome love it the only thing I really don't love about this is the uh, idea of triple hidden bearish divergence uh, yeah we did have a break and a bounce which is awesome now we need this high to take out this high to invalidate the triple hidden bearish divergence however if we hit this uh, 69 sort of the 70 level and we bearishly break down that's gonna be a problem that's gonna be a big problem and um, we're gonna have to wait and see we're gonna have to wait and see but let's go ahead and drop down to lower time frames checking out the daily now on your daily, you you can you can see the triple hidden bearish divergence very very clearly. You can definitely see it. Uh, you do have a low, low, and low. Let me see. Oh, let's see. Yep, that is lower. That is lower. So darn shame to see, but we do have triple hidden bearish divergence on the daily while price has been going up which we would be looking for retracement ideas just because of hidden bearish divergence. The, the strength is waning. Also, if we look at our MACD, you can see the price action there is falling down. So you can see it right there. It is currently falling down. Anyways, so what does that mean for us? Well, first off, we would be looking for a test of not only the 1707 level, we would also be looking to test the heart line. So on your daily, that would probably coincide perfectly with your 50 daily simple moving average, which is awesome. It's absolutely great. But uh, let's go ahead and look at where this price action could be topping out. I'm not saying it can't go a little bit higher. I'm definitely not saying that because if we look at this, we are hitting that 786. Mm rough that is rough we're hitting that 786 where we turned around last time let's check it from this angle right here oh yikes that was wrong that was wrong let's check it from this angle here uptrend came down here yeah we could hit that 786 be a nice little peek out draw in a bunch of longs we could hit the 786 but understand if we close the day in 11 minutes at the time of recording below the 618 this is actually a very good area for people to take profit where you'd end up seeing the price turn around possibly try and find a bounce off of this level or the 16810 level we could be seeing that let's see if on lower time frames we see any trend reversal starting so let's come down to the four hour four hour actually looks fantastic but we once again you see this hidden bearish divergence happening here or not hidden bearish divergence but hidden wait it did break the high yikes so it technically broke the high but uh yeah well, you can see that that strength is waning right here with the hidden bearish divergence right there if we can clear this high, it invalidates the bearish divergence, but we have 10 minutes to clear that high. If we turn around right here, it's not looking great. Anyways, coming down to the one hour. One hour time frame, you can see how it's acting as resistance. You can see how overbought we are. And once again, we have that hidden bearish divergence. Hidden bearish divergence on so many time frames. So many time frames. Anyways, I am thinking a pullback could be happening. And where a pullback could happen? Well, we go from high, this previous high, to low. And we still have an opportunity of a bounce. So, 
I know, we'll just bring it up to the top here. We could see a bounce off of 17.15 or 17.5. We could see a bounce off 16.29. These would be two levels where you would expect a bounce and possible testing of one of these areas. If you do believe we are going to go a little bit higher, then as a trend, simply we would be looking for the most likely the 786. It could go higher, don't get me wrong, because you're playing with all time highs right now. But the trend here to here, 786. So we could end up somewhere in this area. Just be careful. Just be careful. Let's go from here to here. You would be looking right where we're at as profit taking levels. That's, that's absolutely insane. Anyways. Anyways, coming down to even further lower time frames, checking out the 15, 15 minute, you can see the pullbacks happening, but really good thing, the stochastic is resetting very fast, very fast, so it might be waiting to put in a little bit of hidden bearish divergence, which is nice to see, so we could see a nice bounce off this 618 level, and we could possibly possibly see the breakout before uh, a fake out really a fake out breakout and then it falls down we could see that coming into even lower time frame so acting as if this is your high we would be looking for we'd be looking for a bounce right here at the 18743 and profit taking level would be up here at 19.98. Noted if you do fall below and you get to the 382, we would be looking to take profit at the 618. Keep that in mind for your trades, but I am expecting a new downtrend to start for Caspa simply because we are hitting severe overhead resistance based off the weekly time frame. So uh, this could be going downward for let's see how many how many weeks it did here. 1 2 3 4 5 five six seven eight nine ten eleven weeks here it was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten weeks so between ten and eleven weeks we could see this thing sell off and retrace it is a possibility but then again we could find support off this heart line once again and then break to the upside if we do then we would be looking for a measured move So we would be looking for a measured move somewhere out here, which would be landing us around 31,362. I just don't think it's going to happen next week. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a nice little fib retracement from our previous all-time high and our low right there. So we would be looking for profit taking at the seven one two seven two level. You would be looking at right there at twenty four three oh four. Anyways, that's what I see out of the charts right now. This is what I'm looking at for Caspa. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe to the video. And above all, check the description down below. You can join the Discord where I post up trade setups kind of like this every day. Noted the trade setups I post up, they're a lot lower time frame and you're actually looking to profit from them within the one to three days or something. And um, yeah, otherwise we look for swing trade, things like that. I post it all up in the Discord, links down below. Also check out our partner, Fairdesk, if you're looking for an exchange to do any types of futures trading on or even spot trading. But we, uh, we do have a partnership, therefore you get 5% cashback rebates based off your futures trades, as well as it's zero KYC, so US residents, it's kind of what you're looking for, uh, up to 85, or I believe it's $80,000 daily withdrawal limit for those of you looking for something where you don't need to verify your identity and you can do all the trading that you like. Um, also, there is an option in there with copy trading, so you can copy my trades. I win, you win, I lose, we all lose, but it is a fantastic way to help out the channel. And uh, without further ado, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I hope you are all doing well in your trades. Keep those stop losses tight. I'll catch you later.